Hello Internet, welcome to the Well of Curiosity and to the next instalment of 60 Second Solar System. We are going to extend our stay at Jupiter a little further by taking a look at another of its moons. We've already covered Io and Europa, so now we turn our attention to Ganymede. Ganymede is the largest known moon in our solar system and is even bigger than the planet of Mercury. The icy surface of this moon possesses many craters, as well as large bright regions of ridges and grooves that slice across older, darker patches, which are a clue that Ganymede has been active and experienced dramatic upheavals at some point in its past, possibly from geological activity or even the movement of water. Like on Europa, we suspect that there is a hidden ocean of water beneath the ground of this moon. There is a thin oxygen atmosphere on Ganymede, but unfortunately it is far too thin to support life as we know it. What is much more interesting is that Ganymede is the only known moon that has a magnetic field, which, thanks to the interaction of energy from our sun, can cause auroras of glowing gas in its atmosphere around the north and south poles, similar to the auroras that we experience here on Earth. I think that we'll stay for one more moon at Jupiter before we move on to explore the rest of our solar system. I hope that you have been enjoying the journey as much as I have and I hope to see you all next time.